Bonjour and welcome to French Action! If you are preparing for the French TEF orals, then this video is for you. The video on my tips for section A was released two weeks ago, and now we are looking at section B. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! What is different from section A? First, you have to present a document, and from that document, you need to convince your friend to do an activity, and this in 10 minutes, which is very different from section A, which is only five minutes. A good way to start is to draw your friend's attention and say something like j'ai vu une annonce et j'ai tout de suite pensé à toi. You need to present your document even if the examiner leads you to something else because remember the friend is not supposed to know anything about that document. And of course you're going to react to the examiner's responses because remember the examiner is supposed to play the part of your friend. And of course you will have to defend your views and try to find argument to convince your friend. So as a recap, what do you have to do? One, make a presentation. Two, defend your viewpoint. Find arguments to convince your friend. And all these by using correct structures, by using appropriate words and expressions, and by speaking as clearly as possible and as fluently as possible. So here are my tips for section B. In section A, you would have used vous because it would have been a formal conversation. But here you have to remember to switch to the tu as it's an informal dialogue because you're talking to your friend. I know it might be strange to use tu to the examiner, but remember the examiner is only playing the part. It's only playing a part your friends. So also you need to remember that it will be the only time you will do that. Tip number two, you need to provide details of the document, but the idea is not really just to read what is on the document, but is to use your own words. Because remember, it's not a reading exercise. Tip number three, practice to convince and defend your viewpoint in French. This is not going to happen suddenly in the test. You have to practice. I'm sharing some expressions with you. Je suis certain que tu vas aimer le restaurant. Je suis convaincu. Je suis convaincu que c'est un bon projet pour toi. Or, il ne fait aucun doute que cette annonce va t'intéresser. Tip number four. Don't use emotion to defend your opinion or to get your friend to do something, but just by saying, come on, do this for me. This will not work during the test. Tip number five, instead, you need to keep giving good reasons for doing a particular activity and your examiner will only agree with you towards the last minute or so of the test. So, don't be discouraged because you know that they're not going to agree with you straight away. Tip number six, avoid repetitions, any type of repetitions, Repeti repeating the same words, repeating the same expressions several times, repeating the same reasons when there's repetitions is not good for you. Tip number seven, Get used to speaking non-stop for 10 minutes. And the best way to do that is by timing yourself. Try to have a continuous speech for 10 minutes because that's what is required in section B. Tip number eight, don't give up if section A was not successful. Because, you know, you may do better in section B and at the end of the day, Section B lasts for 10 minutes, and if you can do something brilliant in 10 minutes, Section A would not be a big, big issue.
So make sure you don't give up. Tip number nine, practice to speak without hesitations and pauses. You don't want to be saying something and then uh, 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 try to avoid this. And my last tip, try to prepare for the next level. Meaning if, for example, you are in your opinion an A2, try to do A2 plus between A2 and B1. There's nothing wrong in stretching yourself to get the best out of this test. It might be useful for you to know that each criteria will lead to a grade. So you may be weak at section A, but better at section B and so on. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Au revoir.